tricky to figure out when to visit Delaware Bay to see the red knot migration because the red knots are coming all the way from the tip of South America and they're flying up to Canada to their Arctic nesting grounds. So it's this huge distance that they're covering. They're only stopping in Delaware for a couple of weeks to feed up on these um, fatty, protein-rich eggs of horseshoe crabs, and then, you know, they're gone. They're, he they're headed north. So scientists uh, are able to have a decent idea of when they're going to show up because they know that the red knots want to capitalize on the spawning of the horseshoe crabs, which occurs in late May or early June during the high tides. There were so many horseshoe crabs. They were uh, paving the shore. They smelled not good when they died. I think about 10% of them die during every spawning period because they're such an unwieldy shape that they can get flipped over by waves onto their backs and sometimes they're able to maneuver themselves back into the right position to crawl back into the sea but sometimes they remain on their backs and dry out in the sun after. I think they can stay alive for maybe 24 hours, something like that. There are 20 scientists on the, on the beach that I was on, but there were other scientists elsewhere. And they basically fired uh, a net out of a cannon over a large population of birds. It covered hundreds of birds. And basically, as soon as that happened, with a gigantic boom, every, all the scientists and volunteers ran out from behind the bushes where they'd been hiding and fell to their knees in the sand so they could start getting the birds out of the net because it's a perilous situation with the tide coming in and these tiny birds trapped under this net and you have to move very quickly yet at the same time be extremely careful that no birds get crushed or left behind in the net because there really are so many and it's very it's a very frantic situation so they're pulling the birds one by one very gently yet swiftly out of this big net and they're putting them into boxes by species. Those boxes are carried up the beach to groups of volunteers which are sitting, who are sitting in folding chairs doing a kind of assembly line processing of the birds. They take a box of birds and one by one take them out and assess them in various ways. The most important aspect of the whole processing is the weighing of the birds. More than anything, the scientists like to catch in their cannon net a bird that they've already caught a, couple, a week before or a few days before, because that way they can see how much weight a bird has gained within the span of a couple of days. The amount of calories that they have to consume is absolutely staggering. And literally every second that they're not doing their job of eating or resting in order to eat more is, you know, it's, it's perilous.